here back today with another empties video it's been a couple of months since I did one and my bag that I use to determine when to do another one was full so it is time so I will dive in and share with you what I've used up over the last few months so starting with shower gels and shower products I finally finished this twilight um, when I was shower gel that I got from Lush and I've had this for over a year and I had to actually kind of hurry up and use it because it did expire mid-December so I got through that really like that I will buy it again I think it's a, a great sort of winter um, Halloween ish smell <laughs> that's when I tend to use it but I'll probably just buy a smaller bottle so I'm not um, don't have to keep using it for quite so long it's not so hard to get through so in line with that I also have Snow Fairy here which as you can see isn't finished but it expired mid-November. I did finish off this um, Bath and Body Works Coconut Lime Breeze that I had from last year. Obviously I didn't use it in the winter. I dug it back out again once the weather warmed up and I have finished off that and I have got a replacement in the shower at the moment. So I absolutely love oh I just love that smell. And also from the shower I finally finished off this Burt's Bees was it cranberry and pomegranate sugar scrub uh, it's it's a good product as you see I've used it all up I just um, don't find it the best I won't be rebuying it put it that way um, not a bad product I just won't repurchase I'm still on the hunt for the perfect um, body exfoliator so I've got a couple of lotions this one again another Bath and Body Works one this is fresh picked was this fresh pit body lotion this is pears yes yeah, so the smidge in the bottom um it was hard to get out with the pump i couldn't really pump any more out and i just didn't bother to totally empty it because i've used up most but really enjoyed using that over um winter also used up a little sample of the body cream of the sassy and savvy citrus souffle body cream tiny little sample i think i got one or two maybe only one go out of that one actually for a whole body i can't remember um, it was nice, but nothing to make me want to go and find it. Okay, I've also got this little um, dream cream sample pot that I got from Lush. Um, hand and body lotion. I use it as a body lotion. As you can see, that is empty. And I actually really like that. Um, usually I tend to match my body um, shower gels and body moisturizer. I tend to use the same scent. So I've used it. Um, that I'll then coconut lime breeze, I'll then use the coconut lime breeze moisturizer. But I've got a few that don't have matching moisturizers, so I found I used that, and that's how I used it up so quickly because the days I didn't have a matching one, I would just use that because it was, I don't need smell left in it now. It was um, kind of an almondy smell, I don't know what the smell is supposed to be. It smells like almonds, so yeah, I'll get myself a bigger pot next time I'm near a lush stop. Shop. <laughs> okay. Right, got my skincare. I finished off a little sample of the Dr. Lewin's Firming Cleansing Balancing uh, Cleanser. Really like that. Um, I'm going to repurchase this. I think it's one of the nicest um, cleansers that I've sort of come across. It's, uh, I really, really enjoyed that, and I will probably buy another one um, when I run out of ones that I've got. Kind of wait for them to be on sale, I think probably if I see it on sale I'll pick up one. But I always forget that it's a balancing one, I need to make a note of that. Because when I go to the shop there's a rain, I go, oh, which one was the one I liked? And that was the one. I also finished off a little Cos Cosmia Radiance 24-7 Youth Boost, which is um, rose hip oil. This one also has sea buckthorn, pomegranate, camellia oil and apricot oil. And I did really like that. Uh, I think I'm preferring the trilogy one. But it was um, it was quite nice. I think a lot of these are just kind of what I probably will buy what's on sale at the time. There's a few that are quite similar: the Cora one, whoop, the trilogy one, the Cosmere one that just went flinging off. Then they're all pretty similar quality, and I'm been pretty happy with all of them. I tend to favourite the one I'm actually using. I go, oh, that's very nice, but maybe it's a change thing. So maybe it's good to rotate through a few different brands of the rosehip oil. But definitely love rosehip oil. I also finished off the um, Cora Organics by Miranda Kerr Exfoliating Cream. I use this just for my face. I like it, but it's one of those ones that gets messy again. But my biggest problem is that 
Oh, that smells really good. Look at how nice they smell. I, I just, I'm looking for something with a little bit more grit in it. But otherwise, I really like that. Uh, I think this is the second bowl of this I've gone through, and I probably would rebuy it again. Um, as I'm on the search at the moment and I'm for a, just something a little bit grittier. I probably don't really need it, but I just feel that this is just a very fine exfoliant. But that's probably all you do need. Okay, a couple of face masks. I used this with a, a sample one, Princess Sun Care Hydrolauric Acid Mask. It's just one of those little wet um, sheet masks. It's the first one I've ever used a sheet mask. Uh, I did try to remember now. I, I did quite like it. I don't know. I'd go out of my way to find it to buy it again. It didn't seem to do anything super duper amazing. I like the one I'm about to show you, which I used this morning. And holy moly, I'm going to track this down and buy a bigger one. It was a little sample of the Sanctuary Spa Covent Garden. I have to read this because I can't read a small print on the screen. And the reason I chose this one today because it's a five minute mask. It's a thermal detox mask. I've never used anything like this before. Um, it's actually, it heats up on your face, but boy, it felt beautiful. It felt so nice. Um, what does it say? It's a warming charcoal treatment for perfectly clean and purified skin. And my skin does feel nice today after having used this this morning. So I'm going to see if the local price line, I bought this in a pack like for Christmas for myself, <laughs> a pack. And I'm hoping that our local price line has a bigger one of this because it was really nice. And I just went through quite a bit of hand cream. <laughs> so starting with the Cora hand cream. If you've been watching my images for a while, I have been through quite a few of these. I really do like it. I think it is one of the best day hand creams around. It just absorbs straight into your skin really nicely. You can get straight back on your computer because it's not um, oily and sort of ooey. It just dries really quick and it's got a beautiful smell. All the Cora products have great smells. Uh, I will probably buy another one. Eventually, I've got a lot of other ones to use up, a lot of little sample ones, which as you'll see, the rest of samples uh, that I'm using up, but I'll probably definitely buy, probably definitely. That makes a lot of sense. I will almost certainly buy another Cora hand cream because I really do like it. Now, that's probably the third or fourth one I've been through. Okay, what else did we try? Okay, we used up a couple of Loxitane ones, which those of you have seen my previous videos would well, know I don't buy L'Occitane anymore. Um, just a quick aside for people that don't know why. Um, because they are now selling in China and they can China can test the L'Occitane products at any time they like on animals. So I'm very much against animal testing so I don't buy L'Occitane anymore. Um, but I did finish off two that I had. This was one of the little Christmas ones from last year. And I had another little um, hand cream. They're nice products, but I think there's nicer and nicer that don't test on animals. I did use this little Natio Wellness Intensive Hand Cream, and that was really nice. The Natio ones seem to be good quality. I've actually, oh my goodness, I've got a whole another hand cream out. It must have been standing up right and it's all drooled down the last month. So here we go. I will, uh, it smells lovely. Well, I can't remember it's been finished for a while. I'll have to start making notes as I finish up products. But it's not going to dry as quick as the um, Cora ones. A few random products is um, another Australis nail polish remover. Really like that nail polish remover, and being Australis, it is cruelty free, so that's the one I tend to rebuy. And sometimes you can get a bigger pack, and it's got so yeah, that's a percentage free in it. Or I go to Australis on sale, and I pick it up then. But yeah, seems to be a decent enough nail polish remover. And I also used up this little sample that well. It was um, not really a sample. I took it from a hotel. <laughs> and this is a natural earth shampoo with NZ Active Manuka Honey from the Outrigger Resort. So I assume I got it from Fiji because that's the last time I stayed in an Outrigger Resort, an Outrigger Hotel. So it must have come from Fiji. Made in New Zealand. <laughs> so a long story there. It's a little shampoo. And I ended up using that for washing my makeup brushes. So a bit of a natural one. If someone can tell me what they wash their makeup brushes with, that'd be great because I was using the MAC makeup brush cleaner, but I'm not buying MAC anymore, so I haven't cleaned my makeup brushes for a little while while I was using that. <laughs> so, I need to find something else. Two more empties, and then I've got a couple of not finished products or products I'm putting aside, throwing out. 
So I finished off a little, little random little products, a little um, what they called pocket back antibacterial gel from Mouth and Body Works, and this was Coral Reef. Really love this one. I wish I had some more of this one. It was really nice smell. So I finished off that, and another Bath and Body Works product. I finished off this candle, Island Magenta. I'm sure there's no smell in there. I've washed it. There's a little bit. Yeah, so I finished off that. Now I'm going to use a jar for something else. And a few products that are just going in the bin or going to Amy. <laughs> Firstly, a very, very old um, eyebrow pencil. It's a Lancome, and I have not bought Lancome for years and years and years. So I just, I really like the one I'm using now. So I decided I would throw them in the bin. I mean, I don't know how long these have for life, but. This would probably be over five years old, so I'm thinking most makeup doesn't last that long. So that's going to go in the bin. As is this mascara. I didn't like this one. It's a Physician's Formula Organic Wear. And I just didn't think it did a, a good job. That's a little brush. So I'm not going to bother persevering. They weren't, it wasn't that expensive. It was just to try it. But... I like the idea of being an organic one, but I didn't like the product. This was a big disappointment. Um, these are Cosmia facial cleansing wipes that I got. Um, don't particularly like the smell, but it actually made my face sort of sting and burn. And nothing does that to my skin. My skin tends to take anything. I tried it a few different times, and every time I didn't like the smell to start with. And then afterwards, my I could put on my moisturizer and stuff, and I could sort of feel like a little like burn or a sting underneath it. So, yeah, we don't want that for skincare. So, <laughs> um, I was surprised at that being a natural product. Okay, so I've got another. As I said, I'm on the hunt for the perfect uh, face exfoliant. Now, this one was not it. Um, it's all right, but I just, again, I'm looking for something that's more grit, and this didn't seem to have much grit at all. I think uh, I'll either give this to Amy or keep it for holidays, so, because to me, for a daily cleanser with exfoliant, it would be fine. But if you're looking for an exfoliant to use a couple of times a week, I didn't feel it had had enough grit in it to do that job. And I've got another one I'm going to throw out, and it was a good product. I wasn't unhappy with the product. Uh, this was the Nude by Nature, what is it, BB Miracle Cream. I much prefer their moisturiser, tinted moisturiser with the sunscreen. I feel the other one's a little better and I've actually gone through a whole tube of the other one and I'm working almost, I'm almost finished it, it's not quite. The next empties you'll see that pop up. So I thought well, it was silly having two almost identical products when I always reach for the other one. So this one can be gone. So I hope you enjoyed my empties video and hope it gives you a little bit of input and feedback on some of the products, what I thought of them. And it's so good to be back making a normal video. It feels like it's been forever since I've done one. I will have uh, probably have a packing video um, for a summer holiday <laughs> coming up soon. I know it won't be relevant for you guys in America, but maybe you can keep it somewhere and watch it when it gets to summer. But that, oh, I will see you next time. Goodbye.